Hi, welcome to Science Co. Love. And for today's lesson, we are going to discuss the volcanic eruption. So in this video, I will explain what happens when volcanoes erupt and the process of volcanic eruptions and the factors affecting volcanoes eruptive style. But first, i-define muna natin kung ano ang pinagkaiba ng magma at lava. So, magma is extremely hot liquid and semi-liquid rock located under Earth's surface. So, yung magma makikita siya under the Earth's surface. So, it is a complex high temperature fluid substance with a temperature between a range from 700 degrees Celsius to 1,300 degrees Celsius. So, so, so napaka init nito nung lugar ng magma. And next is lava. What is lava? So lava forms when magma erupts from a volcano. Lava is mostly made of two elements. First is silicon or silica or SI in its symbol and O for oxygen. And it is also extremely hot like magma. So lava can reach up to 250 degree Celsius. So kung makikita nyo sa picture dito or sa illustration, ang lava ay isa ding magma once na ito ay lumabas na sa Earth's surface. Ang Earth ay nahati sa tatlong main layers, crust, mantle, and core. At makikita nyo sa larawang ito ang different layers and sub-layers ng Earth. At ang asthenosphere, ito yung region kung saan nafo-form ang magma. It is also a zone of Earth's mantle lying beneath the lithosphere and believed to be much hotter and more fluid than the lithosphere. So, dito na form ang magma, dito sa baba ng lithosphere na makikita nyo sa larawang ito. And next is convection current. So, what is convection current? Ito yung current na nagdadala ng magma papunta sa Earth's surface. Kung makikita nyo sa illustration na to, the more na umiikot yan, yung convection current na yan, at may opening sa Earth's crust, which is the volcano, at kapag tumaas ang pressure, maaring may release ang magma at magresulta ng volcanic eruption. Factors affecting volcanoes eruptive style Violent eruptions are commonly associated with volcanic eruptions. Although some eruptions are explosive, many others are not. Why is it so? So kung mapapansin nyo sa mga volcanic eruption na napapanood nyo sa TV, merong mga violent eruption, pero yung iba naman is quiet eruption. So bakit ka ba nangyayari ang mga ito? Merong tatlong factor kung bakit yung mga volcano ay malakas sumabog, yung iba naman ay mahina lang. First factor is magma's temperature. Second factor is chemical composition of magma. And third is amount of gases contained in magma. So let us discuss the first, magma's temperature. Based dito, the higher the temperature of magma, the lower its viscosity. So what is viscosity? So viscosity is a measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. Kung makikita nyo sa picture na to, ito yung darawan or mga comparison ng viscosity fluid. Ang other definition ng viscosity, ito yung thickness ng fluid. So kapag ang fluid ay hindi masyadong thick, so low viscous siya. Kapag ang fluid ay thick or makapal, so high viscosity. So kung makikita nyo, high temperature makes the lava more fluid. This temperature affects the mobility of lava. So the more na mataas ang temperature, the more na mababa ang viscosity level. So the more na mas mabilis mag-flow yung lava sa isang volcano after niya mag-erupt. Second factor is chemical composition of magma. Magma with high silica content is more viscous or high viscosity. And magma with low silica content is less viscous. Alam naman natin na ang volcanic eruption ay nag-release ng silica content. So the more na mas mataas ang silica content ng volcano, the more na mataas ang kanyang viscosity level. The more na mas makapal yung kanyang lava or yung lava flow ay mabagal. Third factor is amount of gases contained in magma. 
the loss of gases makes magma more viscous. Kapag nagkakaroon ng volcanic eruption, kapag mababa ang kanyang gas na nire-release, the more na mas mataas ang viscosity level ng magma, the more siya na mas makpik or mas mabagal mag-flow. Volcanic shapes and their different material emissions. We have three volcanic shapes. Shield volcano, second cinder cone, third is composite volcano. First, let's talk about shield volcano. The shape of shield volcano is huge and gently sloped volcano. The material emission for shield volcano is non-viscous lava. Second is cinder cone. Cinder cone volcano, its shape is steep slope and wide crater. Its material emission is lava fragments. Third and the last is composite volcano. The shape of composite volcano is tall and cone-shaped volcano. It have clusters of vents. And the material emission is lava and pyroclastic materials. And that's all. Thank you. See you on our next lesson. Thank you and bye-bye.